Hello, this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today my topic is Kerberos. In Greek mythology, Kerbero is a dog with three heads. But today I will not talk about the dog. I will talk about an authentication protocol for client-server applications. Let me explain what it means. On most computer systems, your password is used to prove your identities. But anyone knowing your password will effectively be you, which is no good. Therefore, it's necessary to prevent anyone from eavesdropping on your password on an unsecure network. At the same time, it's also necessary to provide a means of authenticating a user to use any service anytime. This can be done with Kerberos, which is designed for two purposes, security and authentication. Here is how it works. Suppose a client wants to access a file server, but with Kerberos, the client must be verified through a trusted third party. And this third party is a key distribution center, or KDC. KDC includes two servers, Authentication Server, or AS, and Ticket Granting Server, or TGS. Step 1. The client sends a request to authentication server like my user ID is so and so and I need a ticket to a server. Something like this. His request is partially encrypted with a secret key, his password. Keep in mind, he never sends his password over the unsecured network. He just uses it as an encryption key. When AS gets the client request, it will retrieve his password in the database based on user ID and use his password as a key to decrypt his request. Remember, his password is a shared secret key between authentication server and the client. This is how the user is verified. After verifying the client, authentication server sends back a ticket called Ticket Granting Ticket, or TGT, encrypted with another secret key. Step 2. After client gets TGT, he sends this ticket to Ticket Granting Server along with his request like I want to access the file server. When the TGS gets the TGT, it decrypts the ticket with the secret key shared with authentication server. Then TGS issues the client a token which is encrypted with another secret key. This third secret key is shared between TGS and the file server. Then the client sends the token to the file server. Last step. When the file server gets the token, it encrypts the token with the secret key shared with the TGS. The file server then allows the client to use its resources for a certain period of time according to the token. The token is like movie ticket with which a person can go to a theater to enjoy a certain movie at a certain time on a certain day. 
Now you can see all communications between the different parties involve a secret key. For example, the client and authentication server share a secret key, which is his password. Authentication server and ticket granting server share a secret key. And ticket granting server and file server share the same secret key. Therefore, Kerberos is one example of using um, private key encryption or symmetric key encryption. If you want to know more about private key encryption, please check out my another video. And thank you very much and see you next time.